Hey, hey, welcome to Creative Studio. And in this upcoming episode, I'm going to show you how to institute two-factor authentication using Yahoo Mail. So let's come on over to the computer, get started, and let's see how this is done. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and log in to Yahoo. Once I'm logged in, all I gotta do is hover over my name or where my picture is, and then choose account info. The system needs to verify my identity for account security. So just go ahead and log back into the system. Okay, so now that I'm in this next screen, notice how there's a button to turn on two-step verification. So this is very, very simple. All you have to do is just click on that button and then you're greeted with a menu to turn on two-step verification. And you have all of these different options. So you could do a push notification, which will allow you to verify who you are through a Yahoo app that you've downloaded on your smartphone. Or you can use your, your mobile device where it will text you a code so that you can enter that in the sign-in screen. Or you can use an authenticator app that allows you to generate a code through this app. And of course, there's a security key, which I'm not going to cover in this class because I haven't used that one yet. So I'm only going to focus on these first three. And then later on, I'll talk about the security key later. But what I'm going to do is choose my phone number. So I'm going to just click on your phone number. And then because my phone number is already in the system that I'm using, it's asking me if I want to select this number to use. And I'm going to do just that. Okay, now it's going to send me a six digit code for me to enter into the system at that telephone number. So once I go get the code, I'm going to click in the first block and I'm going to type in that code. Next, I'm going to choose continue. Okay, so now it's telling me that all good, all is good here. Great job keeping your account secure. So now I have initiated one level of two factor authentication for my Yahoo account. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on the option view account recovery options. And then when I scroll up, you're going to notice that it shows two-step verification. Your phone number, it is on. So basically it's showing me that my verification for this account is being done through my telephone number and the system has been turned on. Now, you can also go ahead on and use your backup email to do the same thing. So if I want to click on manage, it brings me back to that menu that we first came to. And at this point, notice how your phone number is showing on. Okay. Now, let's say I want to do a push notification where they're going to send a notification to any Yahoo app that I've downloaded on my device. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then it has a verified email, which is the backup email that I chose when I first initiated this account or created this account. And so it has verified my email and I can go ahead on and um, choose next because that's the email that's going to get the notification if I want to use that to verify my identity. So I'm going to go ahead and choose next. And now it says the next time you sign in, you'll get an app notification. So the app notification will allow me into my email, just like my telephone number. Okay, so you should be all set with your two-step authentication. Okay, so now what I'm going to do to test the system is I'm going to open up another browser that does not have my information saved in the browser. Okay, now 
Take a look at the screen. The system does not recognize this browser. And so if you're not on a public machine, but you're actually at your own personal computer, but just in a different browser, you can say stay verified, or you could say not now. So the next time that you sign in, you won't be asked to complete that two-step verification. I'm gonna just say not now for now. Okay, so notice the message on my screen. It's saying to go to your iPhone to open the app and then you can choose yes at sign in and now it's going to let you into the email. Okay, so now let's talk about this authenticator app and I am back in the window where I can choose from the menu and I'm going to go ahead and choose the authenticator app. And then notice it gives you a message here telling you that it provides a secure verification codes that act as the second step in a two-step verification. And then it tells you how you can go in and download this application. And you can either do that on the Google Play Store or your Apple Store. I'm going to go ahead and choose continue. And then what you're going to do now is you're going to open up the camera on your smart device. And then you're just going to point that to the QR code and follow the instructions on the screen. Choose add verification, but you're going to notice that when I go through to my verification, it's not going to let me verify because it says I've already done it. So you'll just click on the email that, you, that's, that you're trying to associate with this two-step verification and then just continue following the instructions in the system. Next thing I'm going to do is choose continue. And at this window, I'm going to put the verification code that is given me from my phone. Now this is doing this for me because I'm already set up where I have my um, information stored in my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and type my code and now I'm going to choose continue. And at this point it says you will use this code to sign in if you lose access to your authentication method, your emergency code will be generated on the next screen. You're going to click on the checkbox to let them know that you understand if you lose your emergency code, you may not be able to recover access to your account. So now you're going to go ahead and generate your recovery code and then it's going to give you the recovery code and now you're going to have to um, copy that. So that it's giving me a code. Mine is giving me a phrase. And so all I got to do is just copy that and then choose finish. Now I've got my two-step verification set up for the authenticator app. So now that I've chosen the authenticator app, now what it's going to do is it turned that one on and it turned off the other ones. So now I've replaced my two-step verification with the authenticator app. OK, so you can do all of this. You know, you can do either your push notification to your email or you can do your phone number. Or in this case, I have now initiated the authenticator app. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to log in to my account again. I just want to make one point clear. When I set up my two step verification using my Yahoo account, it is using the area in my passwords for my iPhone to store the verification code. And for security reasons, the verification code is not displaying in this window. So the six digit code is located in that blank space right below the words verification code. And now I'm going to go ahead and put my six digit code in. So you may have to do something different, but I may have to come back and redo this video later. Okay, so that's how you would do that. This has been Lady C. Hope these tips were helpful, and I'll see you on the next one.